My name is Nayara Arrington, and I am a communications major at Niagara University. Today, we are going to take a closer look at Devil's Dive by Norman Bloom. Norman Bloom was an American abstract expressionist painter born on March 28, 1921. In his early life, he studied under Mies van der Rohe as an architect at the Armour Institute of Technology in Illinois. After serving in the U.S. Air Force during World War II, Bloom moved to Paris in 1948 to study at L'École des Beaux-Arts and later in Italy at the Accademia dei Belle Arti de Firenze in Florence. In 1956, Bloom returned to America to live in New York with his family and throughout his artistic career would go on to be inspired by a wide range of interests, including myth and poetry. Bloom's work is seen as an example of abstract expressionism, a post-World War II movement in America that focused on expressing emotion through abstract imagery. He was greatly influenced by the first generation of abstract expressionists and sought out to learn more about the style and how it related to surface, color, and the medium used. In particular, Bloom created paintings that focused on action, structure, balance, and composition. Many of his works, like Devil's Dive, seem to su suggest or focus on a feeling of movement. The most interesting experience that I had about this painting is the way it brings out different emotions within me. While looking at the painting, I get a sense of loneliness while also receiving or feeling some sense of hope for the better, happier moments in life. That feeling of loneliness comes from the black paint on the canvas and how I see it as there will always be a darkness in life whether it will be emotional or physical. Hope comes from the blue and green paint at the bottom of the canvas and seem to be holding up the darkness of the black paint, reminding me of those sort of protectors or people in your life who will always be there for you when you need them. Throughout his artistic career, Bloom would go on to be inspired by a wide range of interests, including myth and poetry, while continuing to work mostly within abstract expressionism. Bloom had passed away in 1999 in Vermont. In 2020, a major retrospective of his work was featured at the Newark Museum of Art in New Jersey, entitled Norman Bloom Metamorphosis. His work can be found in a number of museum collections, including the Newark Museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Whitney Museum of American Art, and here at the Castle Art Museum of Niagara University. We hope you enjoyed this NU Perspective video. Thanks for watching.